So I think it's going to be very, like really compelling. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that it, it'll, it'll be the, 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 the of, of any mid-size SUV, it'll be the one you want. Tesla estimates that it sold around 200,000 Model Ys in the third quarter, bringing the total sold so far this year to more than 500,000. To achieve its ultimate aim of making the Model Y the best-selling car in the world, Tesla has recently stepped up its EV game. So what interesting updates did the company have for the Model Y? And how will this change the price of the car? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. When the Tesla Model Y first came to market, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said it would be the electric automaker's best-selling vehicle going forward. This may have been hard for some people to believe, since it was really just an inflated Model 3 and quite pricey. But how much does it actually cost to own a Model Y? The, the, the basically long range one we expect to be about $47,000. Tesla is doubling discounts on its Model Y EVs delivered in the United States this month to $7,500, the same amount customers will get next year in the form of the full federal tax credit. Tesla's customer website states that the Model 3 and Y vehicles delivered before the end of this year will receive a $7,500 credit as well as free supercharging for 10,000 miles. That's up from the $3,750 credit Tesla has offered on Model 3 and Y vehicles delivered before the year's end. The move comes amid concerns that the automaker is facing dwindling demand as EV tax incentives loom and economies slow. Before on-road fees, purchase fees, and delivery expenses, the pricing range for the 2023 Model Y is $72,300 for the base rear-wheel drive trim, all the way to $96,700 for the top-of-the-line performance trim. So with the tax credit, you only need to pay $64,800 for the base version and $89,200 for the performance. Tesla's also offering a $5,000 credit in Canada on the Model Y and has also given a discount of $860 on some models in China delivered before the end of the year. Now, it looks like the automaker is trying to boost deliveries as the year draws to a close. As Tesla is getting more and more technologically advanced, how will the Model Y be updated? Um, just, with soft, just with software upgrades, which is pretty cool. Track Mode Tesla Model Y performance owners will now be able to access the electric car giant's track mode software, more than two years after the feature was first promised. Track Mode allows Tesla Model Y performance drivers to make their own adjustments to the car's traction control, stability control, regenerative braking, and cooling systems, all of which can be saved across up to 20 individual profiles that can be tailored for different driving conditions. Tesla's Track Mode also includes the ability for drivers to view G forces in real time and record their data while on a circuit, which can be later downloaded to a USB drive and paired with video from the car's onboard cameras. While track mode is capable of providing extra cooling to the Tesla Model Y's electric motors, the SUV doesn't gain any extra power or accelerate faster than it does without the software enabled. Apple Music Tesla will add Apple Music to its vehicles as part of the holiday software update. After it was spotted on a Tesla unit within an exhibit at the Peterson Automotive Museum last month, speculation seemed to indicate the automaker would finally add the feature. It has officially arrived. Stream over 100 million songs and 30,000 playlists ad-free. Listen to your entire library, discover new music, and tune into live radio stations. To access Apple Music, tap the Apple Music icon in the application launcher, scan the QR code with your mobile device, and log in with your Apple ID. Tesla wrote in the release notes. Dog Mode Improvements Although named Dog Mode, it works for any pet and provides both owners and anyone noticing a pet in the vehicle with a message that the pet is in a temperature-controlled vehicle and is not at risk of harm. The climate is set by the owner and a large message on the screen informs anyone passing by that the vehicle is set to a certain temperature that is comfortable for the animal. Owners who are out and about may be concerned about their pets while running errands or whatever. Tesla's new dog mode feature has a fix for that. By enabling live camera, owners can see a live feed of their pet inside the vehicle, allowing owners to view their pets in real time, providing an additional layer of peace of mind. How about making the Model Y an off-road vehicle? So this thing will be really tight in corners, uh, and we expect it will be the, the, the safest uh, 
a mid-sized SUV in the world by far. The German company Delta 4x4 has developed an off-road accessory package for the electric Tesla Model Y crossover. The aftermarket pack includes a 1.3-inch suspension lift, a wider track, wheel arch extensions that add 2.4 inches to the overall width of the vehicle, a custom roof rack, Continental Cross Contact ATR tires, PIAA LED spotlights, and a light bar. Note that the light bar is not suitable for heavy drinking. But um, Now, even though the suspension is raised by just 1.3 inches with the help of a distance kit, the overall gain in ground clearance is about 3 inches thanks to the bigger tires, for a total ground clearance of 8.7 inches. The custom roof rack can be used for storing sand plates, shovels, and water canisters, and it's even big enough for a roof tent. Also, you can carry an elk or a wild boar on the roof rack if you ever need it. As you might imagine, custom kits like this one don't come cheap. The whole pack costs around $14,600, but you can order individual components if you don't want the complete menu. According to the German company that made all of this happen, a fully kitted out Model Y can cruise comfortably on highways and byways. It'll also give the Y the freedom to move along exceedingly well on carved out forest paths, across fields, dirt roads, and tracks. And it'll do so in a truly superior your way. So how do you feel about the pricing of the Model Y? Would you ever want your Model Y to be an off-road ready EV? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time we meet, take care and be safe.